hey guys welcome back to another video so as the title suggests we are excited we have another opportunity that is coming up which is a recruitment drive so new brunswick again which is a province within canada is having a recruitment drive for healthcare workers and other professions such as construction workers i think truck drivers orderlies health aides no to be specific, this recruitment drive is only for persons that are located in the United Kingdom. So the province of New Brunswick, their team will be going to the United Kingdom and they'll be having a recruitment drive in person. So you have to be present. Now, how this process works is that they have a sign up page, which we're going to show you. Once you go to the sign up page and you present your necessary documents and sign up, Based on what they see, they will then invite you to come to the recruitment drive. So I think it's basically an invitation. So if you are not in the United Kingdom, please do not apply for this. If you know somebody that is within the United Kingdom and like to take this opportunity or transition to Canada, please tell them about this opportunity. Now, please sit back and listen as I take you through the step-by-step -step process of how you can apply for this opportunity. All right, guys, so once you come to the events calendar, you'll see upcoming rec international recruitment events, and you'll see this once you press that description that I provide, the link that I provide in the descriptions, you see GNB, Skills trades and healthcare recruitment for Birmingham and Dublin, and that is taking place in on April 25, 2024, for Birmingham, UK. And you click that sign up button. You scroll down and you see the other events that they're having across the world, and there's a sign up button and it shows you whether it's in person or online. So we just click that sign up button and it automatically takes us to the other page. So once you click on the sign up button, it takes you to their registration page and it talks about the, what they're having in the recruitment fair and they're looking for persons with skills, a training and experience for New Brunswick in demand sectors. Now we're going to come here, we're just going to put in a first name, we're just going to use a random name such as John Doe, sorry about that on the screen. Please note that they say also here, thank you for your interest in New Brunswick, please note that this is an in-person event. Only selected candidates will be invited to the information center. So once we type in John for the first name, we then type in Doe for the last name. We're going to scroll down. We're going to put in an email address. So your email address, I'm just going to use John Doe at gmail.com. And then you'd confirm your email by repeating it to make sure it is the current email address that you had put in initially. After that, they're going to ask you to select the desired date to attend the in-person event. Once you click on that, you know it's April 25th. And just a disclaimer, you need to apply for this if you're in the UK before April. So you need to apply for this before the 29th of March. 29th of March. Now they give you some NOC numbers and that's your national occupation classification and they show you exactly what they're looking for. Nurse aides, orderlies, patient service stitch associates, pattern makers, cooks, sheet, um, sheet metal workers, electricians, plumbers, brick, bricklayers, carpenters, heavy duty equipment, e mechanics, crane operators, concrete finishers, roofers and shinglers, painters and decorators, truck drivers, heavy duty operators, construction trade helpers and laborers. So whichever one of those occupations you fall under, you simply click. I'm just going to use nurse aids as an example. I'm a registered nurse. In what country did you do your training? Jamaica will just use as an experience. I know a lot of persons watch my videos from all over, just using a country as an example. How many years do I have? Four years experience. That's just an example. Do I have a valid driver's license? Are you going to select the country where you have your driver's license from, whether it's in England or any other country? If it is other, you simply can put in the name of the country and it'll give you that drop down box and you're going to put in your country. Jamaica, as an example, that's all, not being biased. 
Now you move down, they're going to ask you, do you have a valid Canadian Federal Express entry profile number? You put in yes or no if you do not have or if you have yes. Do you have a valid IMB profile number? Yes or no. Then these two questions at the bottom, they're just asking you just to be careful of your privacy policy. Information will be shared with New Brunswick employers and that you understand when you click save and next, the information on this page cannot be changed. So you also scroll down, agree to their privacy policy, and you click save and next. So you just click that button there, just read over everything to make sure it's the correct information that you have placed. Then you click save and next. All right, and that takes us to the other page. So we're going to go to part 104 where it, where it asks you for your education, skills, and experience. Do you have a high school diploma or certificate? Yes or no. And it says, please note that the completion of high school equivalent studies is required for eligibility in this immigration screen, stream. Sorry. What is your formal education field? So do you have a bachelor's, a diploma, a master's in your field of study, or a certificate? You put that in. Then it asks you, do you have a valid educational credential assessment? Meaning that if you had your um, education or your transcripts um, vetted by a educational certifying agency, you either put yes or no. I don't think it's hard and fast or you're awaiting results. Yes or no. Skilled experience. So it talks about that you must have at least 1,560 hours, one year, at least one year experience or continuous full time or equivalent to part time experience. So you must have experience. Paid volunteer and unpaid partner internships do not count. So volunteer hours do not count. Then you come here and you select a file, which is your resume to upload and you click save and next. So once you come to this page, it's going to ask you for age, language, and adaptability. So you look for your country of citizenship. So you can put in the country of citizenship, whether you're from the UK or you're from another country, but you're living in the United Kingdom, you can put that in. I'm using this just as, as an example. Then it's going to ask you for your legal residence. So which country are you in? I know this is for the UK, so you'll put in the United Kingdom. I just think I'm mistakenly putting um, Jamaica here again, or you could be there depending on the type of visa that you're on then you put in date of birth so we're just going to put in a random date of birth um for this um example that we're using uh, so we're just going to scroll down and just select a random um number just to put in um 1990 all right and then we're going to go down we can select can use march but let's use november and then we're going to select the seventh then it asks you for your level of english competency advance if you speak english very well and understand it basic level if you speak french or advanced or intermediate have you completed a language competency test such as the IELTS or the English exam? Yes or no. Here it talks about the proof of funds that wants you to, to go on this immigration program you will be eligible for. You must be have minimum thresholds of financial requirements, meaning that you must show that you have enough money to support yourself and your family after you get to Canada. And it also says that you cannot borrow money from others to support yourself. All right. Then it asks you for how many dependents so you can take your spouse and your children. I'm just going to click zero as an example. Do you live in New Brunswick? Do you have any relations in New Brunswick? No. Do you have any close relatives or living in Canada? You click no. Then you click save and next note that if you have any of these you can select yes so we're going to go to this page which asks you about your spouse or partner so they're going to ask you which one of these um codes or job areas that they're looking for your partner will fall under so you just search through and you select an area we're just going to select probably your partner your wife or your husband does um mechanic or heavy duty equipment i'm just going to select an example so this is if you're bringing your spouse or your partner please note also that canada does recognize common law relationships for at least one year 
then you're going to select after you select the code if you did not find any of the errors that your spouse works or not you can click it in and write type it in rather then you attach your spouse's resume and their date of birth then you put what is their level of their education or english competency and their level of french then you click save and next please note you can be married or you can be common law which is at least for a minimum of a year now i just did this example for those who may be bringing a spouse with them no this is an example for those who don't bring a spouse you just click no and select save and next So once you have completed that, you have come to the end and they tell you this is a conclusion. Please note that if you are contacted by a New Brunswick employer, you may be asked to conduct your interview virtually. Then it says, thank you again for your interest in New Brunswick and thank you for sharing your profile with them. And this is the end of the application. Please note it's only for persons within the United Kingdom. And if you like the content that we are producing and you want to see more, please click that like button and subscribe. Remember, share this information with somebody you know that will benefit. Thank you.